Hey, sports bettors, thanks for stopping by. My name is Boyd. I teach beginner and struggling sports bettors as an instructor with OddsJam. OddsJam is a data-driven betting tool that helps you find outlier pricing and a lot of different uh, uh, methods and means of using the data to find positive EV bets. It's what I do, help the beginners get started. Today's video is all about that. You know, how do you develop your own betting strategy from scratch, just getting started? You know, how would you approach that? How would you attack that? So you know that you're onto something that's very, very valuable and helpful to make money, rinse, repeat over the different... Uh, times of the season so let's take a look all right guys before we jump into the video today on strategies I want to remind you there's a scorecard app it's a quiz a 25 question quiz that you can take in the link down below and then it will immediately send you your score and your ranking to kind of give you an idea where you stand and understanding the sports betting knowledges like probabilities markets uh, different betting tools all the things you need and need to understand clearly to uh, to profit and succeed. So it's kind of a cool way to give yourself an assessment to, to see where you stand. And certainly after that, if you want to contact me, do a free one-on-one -on -one consultation to learn more about getting you elevated and educated in sports betting with a bet plan, with a profit plan, with all the tools, some strategies. That's what I'm here for. I'm an instructor with Odds Jam. We try to help out all the different uh, users, new users, beginners, struggling people, uh, whatever the case. So happy to help that and uh, kind of some cool cool things to start off that process with. All right, so here we go. Today's topic, building a strategy or having a strategy that's profitable and uh, you know helps you elevate your bankroll because you're finding different scenarios and situations in this strategy that have been proven profitable over and over again. And so that's what we're going to help out with today is you know, what it is and how you can, can get it started and really develop it and to have it to collaterally help with other uh, wagers you can uh, get involved with in the markets. So one of the most important things that goes into a betting strategy, as always, is having an edge, right? So you're, you're saying, well, okay, how do I do that? How do I get that? And the answer, I think, is, is going to lie initially starting off in some of the uh, less efficient markets, player prop bets, alternative markets. And that's, again, those areas where you're going to see more discrepancy in prices and have more opportunities, especially with everything going on with basketball, football, hockey, et cetera, in the fall and the wintertime. So I think you're going to have a lot of opportunities in your strategy to focus and hone in on uh, those those markets that aren't as difficult, uh, say, than NFL point spreads or NFL totals, things like that. So really want to focus and find a niche in an area that you can gain an edge to truly use that edge and create that betting strategy. All right, so we just talked about finding an edge, getting your strategy together so you can find an edge. Well, I found it what I felt like was a very strong edge in uh, the baseball markets in MLB. And this is an example. This is a scenario, sort of the concept, where I was able to identify Nerfie, no run first inning in Major League Baseball. And so the baseball season's winding up, but we'll certainly be finding different types of opportunities in very unique alternative markets, basketball, football, et cetera. But this is an example to give you and show you how when you hunt and do your research and your homework, you can find some great opportunities. And what I mean by this is at the period of time where I was identifying certain teams in the first in the first inning, uh, they were not scoring, they were not getting hits, their leadoff batters were really sluggish. And then when you get that partnered up with another one that's having the same issue, as well as uh, you know, two pitchers that might be doing really, really well, that's a great opportunity, as well as having a, a, a lower uh, total, full game total. This set up the Nerfy <clears throat> no runs first inning in a really, really positive manner. And so I could also use these tools at the various sports books to identify, well, Pinnacle's at minus 130. You know, we can certainly tell which pricing direction and how things are going. Uh, they, they've jumped 20 cents from minus 110 down to minus 130. This would be a scenario where now, okay, if we see them, uh, and trust them in these alternative markets in the major sports, you know, go and find the best pricing. In this case, we have the minus 117 of sport trade. Again, sport trade is a betting exchange in Colorado, Arizona, uh, New Jersey, and Iowa. And I do have the links for that if you're interested in going with them. It's a wonderful uh, tool to use, wonderful uh, sports betting exchange. But but again, you're going to go and see the value that if, if the probability, the implied probability here uh, is so much significantly different than, than the, the, the the real life probability, you know, the real life probability is probably 70, 75 percent. They're not going to score a run in the first inning and you're getting it at minus 117 odds. So that's 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 how you gain an edge and an advantage. And you can put together these niche market, these niche bets, I would call them uh, anytime touchdown scored, first team score in basketball. So you're looking at, like, at some interesting markets and Odds Jam does a really good job of giving you all the markets for all those different types of things you can look up and get into. This, of course, is, is showing you some baseball ones, but you'll be able to get into the, the NBA, the basketball, the NFL, and so forth and so on with, with all of these different types of alternative markets, whether it's a player prop market or whether it's uh, you know other, other types of uh, um, alternative lines. So I highly recommend searching there first and using some other data that you feel comfortable with that supports your decisions and how you structure these alt line value betting strategies. 
Another tip in the developing your betting strategies, I would absolutely go with what you prefer, what you like. So if you're really, really into NBA, you're really, really into NFL, college football, NHL, whatever the case, find some niche markets inside of those things and, and really keep track of the, the data and, and, and monitor two or three of those markets. Like I mentioned, the Nerfie, the no run first in, first inning. I could look at a, a line, look at a team and know if they were a team that, you know, scored a lot of runs out of the gate early or if they did not. So it helped me uh, gather the information and using the odds jam tools, the odds jam tools are going to give you that insight uh, having all that baked into the price, right? So if you think you're onto a new edge or a new uh, avenue of calculating some certain things, it's already baked into the price. The odds makers know that it's there. But I think getting familiar with those niche markets and know if something may be overpriced or underpriced based on what you've been seeing, you've been tracking it like a hawk, um, is really going to help you further develop those strategies that you can really get into and use them to your advantage in whatever direction. So go with what you know. A couple more pieces of advice here if you're developing a betting strategy. One, you know, do your homework, put in the time, put in the research, and really try to search for those, those markets that maybe the majority of the population is not uh, not into a lot, right? So, so you want to explore these markets and explore these areas in the area that you like, in the area that you know and that you follow. And so certainly, again, using the OGM tools, the OGM data is going to help you with finding some of those key things that you can really have, a, have an edge, have a strategy that provides that edge, and take advantage of that pricing over and over again. And finally, when you're developing the strategy, I think what's important is to make sure you can do it over and over again, right? You're going to have plenty of opportunities in whatever markets you choose. So I think it's really helpful to identify uh, this, this that can be developed into you know multiple days of multiple opportunities and kind of putting that into your profit plan, putting that into your bet plan so you can approach and attack the markets accordingly on a consistent basis. All right, there we go. There's some, some tips and some details I think you can incorporate right away into your betting practices. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, we'll do a, a quick conference call, chat with you about your scenario, where you're located. I welcome that. We'll have a link down below if you ever want to schedule a call with Boyd. Please do so. That's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to try to educate and elevate you to understand how to, to use all the information with the, with the data-driven tools at OddsJam and put that into an organized, structured plan so you can have an easier, faster time to succeed and mathematically profit. So that's what it's all about. Uh, hopefully these tips are really helpful. Have more videos here at the channel if you want to brush up and bone up a little bit on the sports betting education. Appreciate you stopping by.